I'm Linda Norman and I'm here with Lorenz from Process Art Discovery and today we're talking with Debbie Merkel, a multimedia artist here in the Okanagan. Hi. So can you tell me a little bit about your background? What, uh, what do we need to know about you? Well, um, I was a legal assistant for many, many years. Always wanted to learn about art. I felt that there was an artist just waiting to jump out. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know where to start. And I tried several courses. I'd get discouraged. Um, and, and that didn't do a lot for my self-esteem. I felt like I couldn't. Right. And it wasn't until, gosh, the early 2000s and I started taking a watercolor course and, you know, perfectionism is sort of the enemy of being artistic. Definitely. And I remember, you know, I've got my brush and my teacher said, okay, we're just going to do a wash. And so this is on watercolor paper. Mm -hmm. We're just going to do a wash. Just dip your brush into the water and we're just going to take that brush and put it across the paper. I dipped it in water and I said, I can't. Mm. That's how afraid I was that it wouldn't be perfect. Um, what will people think? And then when my friend said, it's only paper for heaven's sakes. Mm -hmm. And that kind of twigged. So I took watercolor classes. Then because I'm so drawn to color, I started with acrylics. And I got into realism. Again, perfectionism. Yes. And then I jumped to a workshop with a California artist. And that kind of opened my world to playing mm -hmm. and not being so perfect. Right. Um, and then along the way, um, I was in galleries. Um, then I got into abstract. And then during COVID, life changing for me because I'd taken a six-year hiatus, didn't think I would ever paint again, uh, was a, um, an online workshop with a British artist. And it was all about play and experimenting. And now I just, it, there's such a sense of freedom that you can try whatever you want. Right. You can always paint over top of it. Exactly. Exactly. And the play part of things is really hard for a lot of people. It is. Uh, you know, most of us come from a, a place where play is, is something that's not encouraged as much as hard work and, and get the job done and yeah. whatever that job needs to look like, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, to, to get to that point where you can play and experiment, and when I look at your work, I see, I see that playfulness, I see that experimentation. Your, you know, your, your love of color comes through but also your, your love of adventure, some abstract, a little bit of the realism as a hint to sort of draw people in. Um, and it's fascinating to me to watch how you, how you put your pieces together. And when I, when I called you a multimedia artist, uh, that, that to me means a couple of different things. It means that you work in several different mediums and have had, but you also will put more than one medium on a surface, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is, which is interesting as well. And that's the, a part of the playfulness too, I think, that comes in there. Well, I, I went down the rabbit hole of making my own uh, collage papers for a while oh, with wow. the jelly plate. Yeah. And that was so fun. And so lots of texture. Um, I've kind of gotten away from that now because I'm always changing my styles. I get bored. And I did learn that artists do get bored. Right. It's, it's just who we are. And so I'm always trying new things. Um, right now I'm doing uh, my girlfriend series, which Absolutely. looks like uh, mosaic art. Mm -hmm. And that just kind of came out of nowhere because I'm an intuitive painter. Right. And those are acrylic on canvas? Yes. Right. Yeah. So that, they're really fun. Really, really fun. Absolutely. I have a vision of them being in every salon, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so that when, when people go in to, uh, you know, with their girlfriends for a spa treatment or, or you know, to, uh, to get ready for a night out with their girlfriends or their w any kind of friend, uh, 
these images are there for them to enjoy and, and uh, appreciate because they're yeah, so because fun. They are. They're really fun. Mm -hmm. and, and I like to make happy art. Yes, absolutely. Um, have you ever taught art? I have. I have. I taught workshops throughout the Okanagan and also in the vineyard oh, one fun. summer. Yes, it was very fun. It was a lot of work. And then you get, you know, sometimes you just kind of burn out mm -hmm. after teaching. It takes a lot of energy yeah. to teach. Well, I think, I think a lot of it is, is managing expectations of the people that you're, that you're teaching and, and trying to express to them the things that you've learned as to, you know, give yourself permission and allow the play to happen. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, that's, a, that's a whole other uh, process for people. It is. Before they even get to the art table, I think sometimes. Yeah. 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 Well, that's exciting. Exciting. So, where can we uh, learn more about you, Debbie? What? Uh, um, I have a website. Beautiful. Um, just Debbie D E B B Y Debbie with a Y. Mm -hmm. Debbie Merkel. So D E B B Y M E R K E L mm -hmm. dot com. And there's also a link uh, to my wearable art on my website. And right now I have, um, I'm one of the featured artists at an exhibition at the Peachland Art Gallery right. with uh, one of the groups I'm with, um, On the Edge Collective. And that is happening until May 20th. Mm -hmm. So if anyone happens to be in the area, they can pop in and see that. Terrific. Yeah. And to see your, your wearable art in person, you said Studio One? Studio One on Water Street. Beautiful. Or Studio on Water, pardon me. Yes, Studio, yes. Studio on Water. And uh, also uh, Boutique Clinica in Gushigan Village. Beautiful. Uh, probably at the end of May, and I believe we're going to be doing sort of a, a day of come in and meet the artist, and here's the wearable art. Terrific. So that will be publicized. Terrific. Yeah. That's great. Well, thank you so much for for the chat. It was it just thank you. so much fun to to learn a little bit more about you and your background and and uh, what you do and why you do it. Uh, it's been uh, it's been quite uh, quite interesting and lovely to do that with well, you today. Well, it's fun to share. Beautiful. Yeah. Thanks, Linda. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching today. If you'd like to learn more, you can subscribe to Process Art Discovery.